everybody and welcome to our next Enrich LA garden video. It's our last video for now, but stay tuned for a summer series. Today we're going to be talking about eating the rainbow. So remember in our last lessons, we learned about healthy eating. Well, today we're going to be really focusing on the color of the foods and how important those are. Remember that we talked about how we should diversify our eating. That means eating a variety of things. So color can help you do this by eating different colors in your meal. Now today we're going to be learning about all the different colors. We're also going to be learning how to use the colors in our food to create fun dyes that you could paint with or even dye fabric with. So let's first start with red and orange. Now, fruits and vegetables that contain red and orange could include carrots and sweet potatoes, also oranges and tomatoes. Here are some red and orange fruits and vegetables. Now, there is a pigment called carotenoids that give these fruits and vegetables their orange and red color. Carotenoids are important because they contain antioxidants, they help boost your immune system, and they convert into vitamin A in the body, which helps with vision, normal growth, and development. So next in the rainbow, we have the color yellow. Now fruits and vegetables that contain yellow would be bananas, lemons, and peppers. So here we have some yellow fruits. Yellow fruits and vegetables contain vitamin C and biflavonoids, which are used to treat allergies. So the next color in the rainbow is green. Now, you can find a lot of green in a garden. Remember how we talked about the pigment chlorophyll? Well, chlorophyll makes the green in the leaves. Some examples of green can be mint, lettuce, cabbage, and cucumber. We talked about how dark green vegetables, such as spinach and kale, are a great source of protein. Dark green vegetables also contain potassium, vitamin A, vitamin E, and vitamin C. Chlorophyll is also great for the body because it helps purify the blood. The next color of the rainbow is blue and purple. With blue and purple, you can find great eggplant and blueberries, also some leaves like this chard, beets, and look at these lovely beans. Here are some blue and purple fruits and vegetables. These fruits contain anthocyanins, which are antioxidants. They can also provide benefits that are anti-inflammatory, antiviral, and anti-cancer. Wasn't that super cool to learn about? And really learning about how our fruits and vegetables and all their colors help us stay healthy and strong. Now, let's do a fun activity and learn how to use these colors to make dyes that we could paint with and even tie dye our clothes with. So red dye can be made by boiling beets. After you boil the beets, you should be left with this very red liquid that you can use to paint with. So yellow can be made by actually boiling 
the skins of onions. And look at the color that you get. This is a little fabric swatch. Let's see what it does. Super light yellow. If you want a stronger yellow color, use the petals of flowers like these sunflowers. I used mint leaves to make this green dye. Look at that. So you can take that and that's going to be a really light green. But if you wanted to make it darker, use the chlorophyll from the actual leaves to make a rubbing. There's your green. You can get all kinds of shades of pinks and purples using fruits from the garden. Like this dye was made with avocado pits and it gives you just the softest color of pink. This one with blueberries gives you a little hint of blue, but what we found is take the peel off of the blueberry and use that as a rubbing. Watch this. Look at that purple. This one I used beets again to get this kind of burgundy purple. Let's see what that looks like. Pretty cool, huh? So we really want you to go out and experiment with this. One thing that we found is that petals are great for doing rubbings, like this beautiful yellow. Look at that. Purple flowers. And look at these poppies. These are gonna make a beautiful rubbing. Wow. How cool is that? So you guys have probably heard of tie dyeing. Well, I did my own tie dye experiment with a beet juice dye that I made. Look at this. That's pretty cool. My white old t-shirt turned this reddish cool color, all made from plant dyes. Here are some other examples of fabrics that are dyed with plant dyes. This was the onion skin. You get this kind of yellowy brown. This was mint, this experiment, that pretty green. And this was a beet. You can use these dyes for a variety of projects. Water coloring, dyeing old t-shirts or yarn or other fabrics such as kitchen towels and bed sheets. You can also use them to color food. Remember, since you're using food to make this dye, then it's food safe. You can color foods such as pasta or rice. So imagine making a rainbow pasta. The possibilities are endless. I hope you guys had fun during this video and making the dyes. How cool was that? Thank you for joining us in this last Enrich LA garden video.